Hi there guys. In this video what we're going to be doing is drawing the giveaway winner for the moderator as well as showing off a little project that I've been working on. Now the response to the moderator itself has been absolutely fantastic. We received tons of positive comments on the video as well as a ton of entries. In total there was over 200 entries into the competition and when you consider we restricted the entries to UK people only that's an absolutely amazing turnout. I did see a few people mentioning that they would like to see the aluminium left raw rather than anodized black. Now that is an opinion that I do respect, however when the moderator gets screwed onto the rifle the parts always look better in black as they just match the rest of the rifle. So whilst the raw aluminium does look good on its own, when you screw the mod onto a rifle, they always look better in black. And if you really wanted to, you could strip the anodizing back by just inserting the aluminium components into a caustic soda bath, and that would strip the anodizing off. Along with the moderator, we are also giving away a little cup, so the winner will get a nice little package. And I'll also throw in a few stickers, a few bits and pieces like that. Right then, with that all out of the way, we can start on the draw. Now, believe it or not, there are over 200 names in this little bowl here. And what I've gone ahead and done is just print all the names out, cut them up into small squares, and then fold the pieces of paper up so you can't see the names. I've double and triple checked all of the names, and anyone that commented on the previous video was entered into the draw. With that all said, we can do the draw. So we'll just give everything a little mix up, then we'll pick a name at random. So this one here. And there we have it, CL Photo. So what I'll go ahead and do is comment on the previous video under this person's name, and we'll try and contact them and get their address. Now I do very briefly want to mention that if this particular person falls through, I will redraw the winner on video. I won't just contact a random person again. Hopefully that won't happen and it all goes smoothly, but just keep that in mind. With that all said and the winner drawn, I do just very briefly want to say a big thank you to everyone that subscribed to the channel. I never in a million years thought we'd get to 20,000 subscribers, and I'm super happy with the way the channel is progressing. There are still plenty of things that I want to improve on, but the channel has been coming along really quite nicely. I try and come at things from a slightly different angle than the rest of the YouTubers, and it seems to be a formula that's working for us. I really hope to continue making the videos, and I think a good long-term goal for the channel is to hit 50,000 subscribers. Anyway, with that all said, what I'll do is just give you a brief sound comparison between the moderator that we made and a few off-the-shelf options. Right then, and the last thing I wanted to do before I let you go is just give you a good look at my newest project rifle. This one here is the Daystate Red Wolf and it's had a number of things done to it. So to start off with, it's a cylinder conversion, so the bottle has been replaced by a cylinder. Then the action has been put into a custom colour genuine GP chassis. The chassis has also been fitted with a new front rail to better suit the cylinder as the standard one comes down to about this line here, and with that fitted, there's a gap between the cylinder and the bottom rail. The rail was made by PRS, however, I did have to get the chassis and the front rail custom anodized. Now, I will say, to get the chassis anodized in both the colour and finish that I wanted was an absolute nightmare. I took it to three different anodizing places, and the results ranged from poor to absolutely shocking. It is definitely not an experience I'd recommend trying. However, in the end I did manage to get both the finish and colour that I wanted. The colour is a close match to the Sapphire Edition Alpha Wolf that you've seen featured on the channel. Although this colour here is slightly brighter, and I think that goes really nicely with the form grips and wooden pieces. So Form made the grip set for this particular rifle, 
And as you can see there, they have their logo on the bottom, as well as our logo just poking out in the top there. And then if we take a look on this side of the rifle, we have the form grip on the grip set there, as well as the Sub-12 Air Gunners logo on the side of the chassis. The grip set for the GP isn't available on the website just yet, but if you give them an email, I'm sure they can sort you out. This colour here is the blue and silver, and it's the same colour that the Alpha Wolf Sapphire Edition uses for the stock. And I think that goes absolutely fantastically with the GP chassis colour as well. I will say the standard grip set for the GP isn't my favourite thing in the world. In upgrading to the form grip set you certainly do notice a difference. It's much nicer in the hand and also the quality and the finish of everything is absolutely top notch. So if you're interested in a grip set for the GP definitely give form a shout. This is the action that was in our custom Shed Wolf build, so it does also have the low profile Picatinny rail at the top there, as well as the 23 inch R barrel. It still is a sub 12 rifle, but in our testing this barrel has performed absolutely fantastically for sub 12. The rifle itself isn't finished just yet, we are going to be making a custom shroud for the rifle, and that will be a build that's featured on the channel. For now though, I just wanted to give you a quick look at our latest project. And with that all said and done, that's pretty much going to do it for this particular video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been interesting. Congratulations to the giveaway winner. And thank you all very much for 20,000 subscribers. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.